making things you know, was really my passion. But the Philippines is really a manufacturing country and uh, I felt it unfair because I saw how my mother suffered. So I insisted that every piece had to have my name and to have that made the Philippines stamp on it. So I lost a lot of clients. I began to doubt whether this calling, this quest was worth it. And I realized that if we don't stand up to be recognized for our own work, then we'd remain nameless and faceless forever. And when you go through that process on a daily basis, you become resilient because you believed in something. I think my purpose was simple in the beginning. I just wanted recognition for my design. And later on, I saw how people's lives changed. I remember receiving a letter one day. She was a domestic worker from Israel. And she said, you don't know me, but I collect articles I see from you because where I work, my employer thinks that all Filipinos are just domestics. And here she showed her employer that, look, there's a Filipino who does design that your newspaper writes about. And so my purpose evolved into something you know, of a higher calling. I think that we're all defined not from our achievements, but by how much we've affected other people's lives. I am Kenneth Cobonpue. I am an industrial designer, an innovator, and a Filipino.